Classical conditioning is involuntary or automatic behavior determined by what precedes the response. The unconditioned stimulus is the treat, the unconditioned response is salivation, the conditioned stimulus is the clicker, and the conditioned response is salivation. In delayed conditioning, the neutral stimulus occurs before the unconditioned stimulus, with a brief overlap of the two. As you can see, the sound of the click occurred before the food was given. Watch again. Shaping is the procedure in which reinforces guide behavior toward closer proximization of desired behavior. At first, Polo just wanted to push the ball himself without putting it in the net. After much shaping, Polo realized what task he needed to complete. Escape is decrease of behavior to get away from an annoying stimulus, such as Kara, where avoidance is a decrease of behavior to prevent an annoying stimulus from occurring. Polo was scared at first, but then he escaped his fear. Operant conditioning involves voluntary responses to rewards or punishment such as positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, both positive and negative punishment. In a fixed ratio schedule of reinforcement, you know the number of acts you must complete to get a reward. In a variable ratio schedule, you do not know the number of acts you must complete to get a reward. In the Skinner box, Polo was on a fixed ratio schedule of reinforcement, meaning he received a pellet after each press of the bar. The Skinner box was designed by B.F. Skinner and called the Operant Chamber because it was the ultimate example of operant conditioning. Chaining is the links between learned tricks and behaviors. The obstacle course was an example of chaining because we linked several known tricks together and Polo was successful. Associative learning involves the linking of two events to predict an immediate future. For example, Polo associates the sound of the clicker to receiving a treat. Polo was able to associate the sound of the click with receiving a treat, which motivated him to complete the hurdles. Latin learning is learning that becomes apparent only when there is some incentive to demonstrate it. The maze was an example of Latin learning because in the beginning, Polo did not know what he was doing. We let him explore the maze and eventually he was successful. The law of effect insists that rewarded behavior is likely to reoccur. Because Polo was rewarded upon completing his tricks, he was more likely to repeat those same tricks. Rest in peace, Polo. You will be missed.